welcome back to my channel guys so it is today is june 14th 2016 and i am still pregnant i am due in exactly two weeks i'll be 38 weeks on thursday um, I actually had a doctor, doctor's appointment this morning, so I'll let you know about that. I'm actually two centimeters dilated, and she said very, I mean, effaced, whatever. Yeah, so hopefully any day now, please, because I'm ready to release the dragon. So, as you can see in the title, this will be my pregnancy bag video. Show you, um, well, my hospital bag. I'll show you guys what I'm going to take with me to the hospital. For the most part, if I add anything at the last minute or think of anything, I'll tell you, but I'll show you what I have. So, first, this is the bag I'm taking. Bright pink because I just can't help myself. Like, why not? So, I got this bag actually from Aruba, a gift shop in the uh, Ritz-Carlton. Ritz-Carlton, that's what it's called, right? Hotel? whatever with my when I with my husband back in October and his family so I decided I was gonna take this bag it stands by itself it's nice and sturdy and it's pink I'm having a girl like let's stay with the theme so first thing I have in here is my belly banded okay now I brought this from Babies R Us and I plan on putting this on the day after I give birth Considering everything goes well in Jesus' name and, you know, awesome. Um, I plan on putting this on afterwards and keeping it on at all times until Honey Girl is snatched, okay? Or something. Let's see if it really helps. That's the first thing. So, I finally washed all her clothes to bring, to bring with me. So, I just, this is my first time bringing a little girl home. And so, and also my first time bringing a baby home in warm weather. Normally, my, well, my two sons were born in cold weather. So, I just brought them simple onesies, hats. Let's get home. It's cold outside. But this time, it's like, oh, she can wear pretty colors and it's warm. Not that that means she's going to be outside or anything. Of course not. But at least she'll be in sunlight. And not in snow okay so first two items I'm gonna bring are these two here's a little leggings from for her now I'm not sure if I'm gonna put pants on her but I brought these just in case like you know the three days that I'm you know you're in the hospital if you have a baby you know people visit and stuff and they have a onesie on the baby but hospitals are cold normally so I'm like maybe I'll put you know slip some little leggings on her if I feel like I want to but Two pairs of those, Ooh, the ruffles, so cute. Then I have, of course, hand mitts. They match her hats, which are also these, which she'll probably have one of these hats on on the way home. I'm bringing two because I just don't know. I'm just so all over the place. But the mittens match, so whatever. Then I'm also bringing oh, two pairs of socks. For also while we're in the hospital, you know, maybe at nighttime when she's going to sleep. Um, I'm not going to let her sleep in her leggings or those little pants if I put them on her. I'm going to let her sleep in her onesie and her socks because she'll be sleeping with her mommy, of course. So I brought two pairs of socks. So probably one to go home and one just to be in the hospital. Then I brought three onesies. So I have this onesie that says, hello, love. It's a nice little pink and white onesie with the plastic thing still in it that I got to take out. But I'm bringing that one. Then I'm bringing a plain white one and little wild one. I thought that was cute. So once again, these onesies, because the hospital gives you onesies to put on the baby, and it really depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm gonna take that off of her and put this on her, because I might just save these for when we come home. But I'm gonna bring them because they're just too cute, and why not dress her up if I feel like. Then her going home outfit is going to be a simple onesie with feet in. So she probably won't wear socks with it. But it's just a gray and gold heart onesie. thought it was really cute. And it looks kind of long. Because I know she's going to be really small. <laughs> considering my boys were small. And I'm small. And I haven't even gained half the weight. 
that I did with my second son. So I know she's going to be pretty small. But I'm sure that onesie will be cute if service purpose. Then I have two little swaddle blankets. Now, I didn't swaddle Jeremiah or Josiah. Um, I just didn't see the point. Like, be free. I'm not trying to tie you down. But these are just so cute that I'm like, I'm going to bring them. And I'm going to try to swallow her, swaddle her at least once. Okay? So, I'm going to bring them. I can also use them as birth cloths. I can um, breastfeed her under them. I can use them for whatever. They're really thin, like breathable. I think I can show you. The breathable fabric. Can you see me? Probably not. But they're really thin. So, whatever I feel like using them for, I'm going to use them. But I love these. And then I have a blankie. Of course, it's leopard print, different colors. And it's just a little soft blanket that I'm probably just going to have around to put around her if I feel like she needs a blanket or whatever. I'm attempting to prepare for all situations because I never had to think this hard. <laughs> like, having a girl is like, I'm thinking, I don't know. I guess it's like a doll baby, like dressing up a doll baby. And I haven't dressed up doll babies. I've dressed up boys. And boys are much easier in a sense. With girls, you're like, girl, you got to have the right color. You got to be cute. Mm. Or that's just me in my mind, and I'm just excited. So we're going to go with that. So that's ba mainly her things. Um, I've already washed these things with Drift and folded them up and put them in the bag. So they are ready to go. Okay. So the next things. I'll show you a couple things I brought myself. Um, knowing me, I'm not a big changer. I'm not going to be getting in and out of the bed. I'm not going to have time for that. I'm going to be popping out boobs, eating, passing the baby. That's really what I'm going to be doing. So I brought just one of my t-shirts that I like that I know is big enough and it's loose so I'll be comfortable. And it says just do it later. But it has nothing to do with it. I bought my favorite pair of sweats, so I'll probably wear these home. These are actually from Victoria's Secret. They have, like, lines on one leg, and they're just so comfortable, comfortable, and I know I want to go home comfortable. I mean, it's going to be hot outside, but after pushing a human out, I would like to feel comfortable. Then I have two tanks. They're both breastfeeding tanks, uh, a black one and a gray one. So it's easy, you know, easy boob access. They clip off here and I can just give her a boob. So I figured those would be pretty easy to have around in the hospital. Pro gray and black. Then <laughs> my friend who just had a baby, she had leftover hospital underwear. If you don't know, they give you like underwear to wear after you have the baby. So I brought, she gave her, she gave me two of those. So I'm going to bring those just in case I run out of mine or some, you know, just in case anything. Then, oh, sorry. Then I brought, I'm bringing another just regular white tee. I probably need to bring my other one. I feel like I need to wash this one again, but just a regular white tee. Once again, I'm just trying to be comfortable. It's loose fit, it's not going to be tight, and it's going to make me happy. And then I'm bringing a little sweater thing, long gray little sweater it's thin but it's also like long sleeve and stuff so if i'm cold or anything like that i can wear it now that t-shirt actually those two t-shirts and this i've got from off duty basics guys off duty basics which is a sister company basically to um miss a is it miss a one miss a whatever i'll leave the links in the description box but they have you know nice quality basic clothes that are not super like ex expensive that you can just you know buy and have in your closet because I know I just need things to just throw on because I'm home a lot okay that's the truth I'm home a lot but I'm also I'm home with my children <laughs> so I'm not at any means sitting down looking at the wall okay so I need comfortable clothes and then last but not least I have my little toiletry bag now I actually got this bag from five and below it says lipstick attic I just thought it was so cute and shimmery and I was like oh, yes please please so I have a few things in here I have some of the pain relieving spray they give you in the hospital 
I didn't use it last time, but I'm going to bring it this time. I have deodorant. I have booby pads for breastfeeding to keep my these are actually reusable ones so they can be washed mm -hmm. and reused so i have these somebody's rubbing their motorcycle outside just just drive anyway i have these then i have nipple balm from earth mama ba um earth earth mama angel baby this is the best nipple balm in the world guys first of all it's completely natural okay let's just start there that's tight natural nipple butter and it's non-gmo um project verified if that even makes any sense to you um you can use it after each feeding as needed on lips cheeks elbows etc anything including your boobs so i had this when i was breastfeeding josiah yeah and got uh, breastfeeding josiah and it worked wonders like my boobs or nips did not get super sore like when they were getting sore I put it on there and it stopped so I would definitely recommend this to new mothers current mothers old mothers mother mothers <laughs> this is some good stuff and it's just like a real shade like shea butter sort of and it comes off pretty shiny and you just put it on there and keep it moving you don't have to wipe it off to breastfeed the baby it's natural nothing's gonna happen so I would totally recommend that so I'm bringing that hand sanitizer because you can never be too safe like people come in to visit and they just like oh let me see oh here's some sanitizer if it's not a sink in there to wash your hands which it should be because it's a bathroom but you know what I mean to be careful to be safe then I have a toothbrush and my tooth holder, toothbrush holder, and I actually purchased all these things, a majority of them. I already had the deodorant, extra deodorant. The spray is given to me from my friend. The nipple butter was given to me from my friend also because I ran out of mine and she didn't use hers at all, so I took hers, obviously. But all the rest of the stuff was five and below. But my toothbrush and my little carry-on toothcase, thing thing. I bought some Crest toothpaste and some <laughs> Listerine so simple things um, I normally don't take a shower while I'm still at the hospital I might wash up but I don't really like to take a shower I really like to wait till I get home till I'm in my own environment with my own things because I don't want to bring all my stuff like that to the hospital I kind of just want to leave that stuff at home and come home happy and just like babe take the baby take the children's and let me go take my first shower so i'll probably do that again i might bring a little thing of um body wash just in case but i mean look no i don't i probably won't i didn't do it with the other boys i don't really like showering in hospitals honestly i don't so i probably won't this time either but i won't smell bad i'm gonna probably add a little smell good to that that bag probably a roll-on one because not spray I don't want it to get on her or anything like that um I'm not sure what else I'm gonna add to that I've kept seeing those little coloring coloring books where you can color the real small flowers and stuff, stuff like that but I feel like what type of off time am I gonna have to color like I'm not gonna want to color when I'm having contractions I'm not gonna want to color after she's out if anything I'm gonna eat sleep lay her down be on my phone you know i'm gonna be it's, i'm gonna be doing normal things so i don't think buying the coloring book would be a wise purchase as you can see i haven't done my nails and i don't know how long because i'm not gonna do them because when the baby comes i don't want to have to worry about them popping off because I, I wear press on nails and i can do my own full sets but i'm like i don't feel like spending that time doing that at night right now so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave my nails like they are for now. And yeah, me and hubby are super excited. We are ready. Um, we were hoping she was coming this week. <laughs> well, last week. Because I actually had a doctor's. I'm at, I'm at the point where I go to the doctor's once a week. So I was two centimeters last Tuesday. So to be two centimeters this Tuesday is like, bruh. She did say my cervix is super soft though, so that's cool, okay? That's what's up. So hopefully 
you know, the contractions just start and we can just go for it. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm <laughs> so ready to be unpregnant and just to be, I'm ready for the adaption process. I'm ready for it to bring her home and with my two boys and to get into a routine with everybody and everybody's I'm just ready for it to be the new normal. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope some of those things helped you out with your bag. If you're packing a bag for the hospital for having a baby. Um, if there's anything you think I forgot, please put it in the bottom description. I mean the bottom comments because pregnancy brain is real guys. I, this bag took me about three weeks to pack because I kept saying, I don't know. I don't know what, what I'm supposed to put in there. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully I'll be talking to you, talking to you with a baby sooner than later. Thanks for watching. Peace.